What's up, guys? This is Jared. Just coming on here. I, I couldn't sleep. This is real, really weird. It's it's 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm an old man. I go to bed at 10 o'clock faithfully. And I don't wake up till the crack of dawn of the next day. So this is very not like me. But I just want to come on here. I'm going to get some work done. But I just want to come on here and make a video right quick. And just, I don't know, I guess just talk. Um, had to make me a cup of coffee to get me, to get me percolating. Please don't, please excuse my hair. But I just want to come over here and talk about something, you know, something that was on my mind. Um, I recently... I had a spontaneous moment at church one Sunday, and we, uh, the Lord gave us a song called uh, Yes Again, and um, I went back and uh, finished writing it, and we've been singing it at the church I attend, and um, I just really been thinking lately, like, what it really means to say yes, Lord. So many times we say yes, Lord, and we have no real under... Okay my testimony a lot of times I've said yes Lord <laughs> and didn't have a real understanding of what yes Lord meant um, Matthew 21 there was a story about a father Matthew 21 and 28 there's a story about a father who had two sons and he asked the two sons you know will you go work for me you know go out and get a job and you know work for me and the first son said no but later on and changed his later on changed his mind and the second son said yes but he didn't go so the question was you know which which of the two sons obeyed the father and um it wasn't the one that said yes at first it was the one that said no at first um and the one that said no at first was, is, you can make it kind of synonymous to the one who probably gained an understanding of what his father really wanted before he just said yes. Because he didn't want to be a liar. He didn't want to let his father down. He didn't want to deceive his father. He didn't want to deceive himself. So, um, I've just been at this place lately, like in my heart and in my mind, where, uh, So many times I could say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, I trust you. Yes, Lord, you're going to make a way. Or, you know, yes, Lord, I'm going to give this up. I'm going to give that up. Uh, we have very good intentions, and that's good. I'm just, I guess I'm making this video. If I could say the major point of this video is to always get understanding. Get wisdom get knowledge uh, know that know that you need to say yes Lord to whatever it is he's calling you to um, and I don't want you to I'm not saying get knowledge and get wisdom to the place where you're so logical that you don't have any faith you gotta have that balance of stepping out on faith but at the same time above all getting get understanding of what it is that you're saying yes to or you'll go in circles I hope I'm not talking in circles right now I'm trying to make this real clear in order to say yes it's important that we know what we're saying yes to I guess that's what I'm really trying to say um, just my testimony um, God is so loving. He's so gracious. And um, he sees so many great things in us. He does. And this, it, it blows my mind. His love and his passion for us is just mind blowing us out of this world. And when he shows us us, um, and when he corrects us, it's for our good. 
And um, lately, I've just been at a place where um, the Lord really showed me how I really have, haven't embraced his plan for my life, you know. On the surface, it looked like it, you know, because I, I thought I was doing good, but he's exposing uh, the depths of who I am the depths of my foundation, the depths of my beliefs as a Christian. He's showing me my heart and what's really in my heart. And it's not always pretty. And the thing is, you know, he allows me to be the judge. That's what I like about God because he's a gentleman, you know. He shows us things and he gives us his word, but at the end of the day, he lets us make our own judgment of ourselves, self-examination. Because uh, he's not going to force himself on us. Um, because love doesn't force himself. So God isn't. He's going to force himself. But he's allowing me to like see the depths of who I am. And uh, just making sure that as a, somebody who, create, who confesses Christianity. Uh, that I really have a heart to serve him and a passion to serve him and that I embrace his will and that I embrace his way um, and it's exciting you know um, some things you may not want to see sometimes you, you'll see a lot of selfishness you'll see a lot of pride um, you see a lot of things that you can work on that you thought you said yes to, but you really did it. Or it could be that you did say yes from a sincere heart, but he just wants more. <laughs> he just wants more. I feel like I'm babbling, and I probably am. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. So, um, but I just wanted to talk um, yes again. Uh, for If you're listening to this video... And I really love encouraging people who struggle, who struggle with trusting God, who struggle with temptation, who struggle with believing in God, that God is even real. Um, I have a heart for those type of people because that was once me in church, but struggling. Looking like you got it together on the outside, but on the inside, there's a war going on. <laughs> and sometimes just being so lackadaisical, uh, so just out of it and hypnotized that you don't even know that you're in the middle of a war and your innocence is being taken. I just lost my train of thought because I veered off so much. <laughs> it's two o'clock in the morning. But, but. But yes, again, really getting an understanding of what you're saying yes to. And uh, like that text I just gave, and I'm going to say this, I'm going to end this video because I don't want it to be over 10 minutes long. Patience. Love is patient. The first description of love is patience. And it takes patience to get understanding what you're saying yes to, no matter what it is that you're trying to come out of to trust God with he would rather that you get understanding and get to know him fellowship with him commune with him ask him those tough questions be honest Not, there's nothing that you can say I do that will shock God nothing he, he knows all but um Get that understanding, get wisdom, so you can know what it is that you're saying yes to. And this will be a, it'll be a continual thing. Just when you thought you said yes and you're ready to go and you accomplished something, the Lord is He's going to require something greater. So it's a continual thing. Uh, so yes, again and again and again. Um, just because we don't want our lips to be close and our hearts far away. So, uh, just to sum it up, I'll leave it with that. Don't let your lips be close and your heart far away. Get understanding 
whenever you say yes.